is the power that flows through this man. Yet, you do not fully understand it. But whatever comes, I will be ready. Okay, let's do this. It's not even captured on PS5. <laughs> Switch versions as well. It's all on PC. Yeah. So it's the same thing they blame the Halo Infinite for. The... There you go. Sony does it too. This is Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> it totally is Final Fantasy 16. And before this is actually Final Fantasy 15 too. Do not question orders. Heaven too. It does look like uh, some 15 characters somewhere. Yeah, well, it's like 16 was rumored, so Someone it's probably 16. But it definitely yeah, looks it, it definitely like 15. It definitely has a Final Fantasy, okay. So it's probably 16, yeah. Or a 15 2 or something, because it, it seems it like. It looks a, very 15 as well, yeah. It looks like the world of 15. It's 17 it's like, online. This will be a fight. <laughs> <fight. laughs> I mean, it's obviously Final Fantasy. We know that at this point. Yeah. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Can't wait for it to play this on the PS6. I'm sworn to protect him. Gameplay. What do you mean you refuse? Well, at least a few seconds. Even the gameplay style looks a lot like 15. Kinda. It already looks like there's a better lock on sort of feature, so. <laughs> looks like magic's actually gonna be. I just be wonder like if good. it's an actual 16 or if it's a spin off or whatever. It's probably 16. It's probably a new chapter because I'm seeing the, a lot more medieval ish looking. Yeah. What thing was more modern. So either a prequel or a, some new chapter. I think it was just like the four dudes in black at the start kind of made it look like 50. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> It's Metal Gear Solid 5. Second life on the five. But that's impossible. The legacy of the Christmas. Different design's kinda cool. This music kind of makes me think of Final Fantasy fourteen. Scrolls. So yeah, it is 16, yeah. Yep, 16. And console exclusive again, but it is going to be on PC. Hopefully at launch, unlike 15. <laughs> yeah, that was alright. It it's one of the better well, trailers we've seen. This is one game that may lead me to PlayStation, finally. <laughs> It's, it's one of the better trailers we've seen con compared to a lot of the other ones for next gen. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually something to it. But yeah, just the, the opening to that trailer did make it look like something 15 related instead. 
Oh, so it literally was just 16. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Good old Square Enix. That okay, so 16 fun. was the PC version. Now yeah. it's all the PlayStation 5. Well, the PC version with, in theory, similar specs to X, PS5. Uh, PS5 yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so we have Miles Morales now. I love Batman. <laughs> you got the house key? Yeah, I got it. Come on, we're gonna be late. Uh, hey, <laughs> dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fun. See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. Working simulator. <laughs> the puddles don't look good, but... <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, the that puddle again. looks so bad. <laughs> Remember? That shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to think of mom as a politician she's been a teacher my whole life similar skill sets right rallying people educating them making sure they don't throw things at each other what's gonna blow up first my important creative director and millennium tower we're excited to i guess the tower yes <laughs> spider-man miles morales Our oh no don't cut after the events of the first game this graphics is so real. Is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles mom, Rio Morales, the power of SSD. Explosion time. War between the previous energy corporation Roxxon and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge. There we go. <laughs> Roxxon's experimental energy source, new form. Let's take a look. There we go. <laughs> Let's not shoot each other, all right? Hey, Daft Punk's in this game. In the case of the bad guys not having any like sort of self-preservation instinct, they're like, hmm, the bridge <laughs> no. is gonna fall down, let's just stand here. Oh my god, the NBC was literally stuck on the car. <laughs> he kept running backwards into the car. <laughs> They're focusing a lot on more on these uh, electric capabilities, which yeah. is cool. 
at least they make it different from the OG Spider-Man in that way. Miles has this ability of electric spider web, so it makes sense to focus on that. Whee! <laughs> Uh, stream froze a split second there for me. It's fine for me. Structure Spider Man. <laughs> now we wait for Iron Man to save the day. <laughs> Get the motions. <laughs> so can I see you? <laughs> Let's see, we're still not getting. Again. Actual release dates for. things yet. <laughs> but uh, the pointless artsy stuff going on. Oh no, here we go. Warner Bros. Oh, Harry Potter. The Harry Potter game. Here's the a studio. Uh, that one game. The one that got leaked that one game that was rumored a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls. And quite possibly shape the future of the wizard. Hogwarts where children go to die. <laughs> In the late 1800s. It's a prequel. It makes sense. This castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. They kind of just do their own thing with it for the most part. Yeah, makes sense. They don't have to follow the uh, books. They can go wild. In the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions. Taming fantastic beasts and mastering spells. Mm. There is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers. Open world Harry Potter, let's go. <laughs> ancient knowledge long gone from this world. Strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now. As long as I can be an Alpha Puff. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did we actually see like a single second of gameplay there, really? Like, most of the time it like sort of cut to like single animations and things, but. What were clicked? 2021. This one, I guess, is not an exclusive because it wasn't said anywhere. Yeah. I wonder if we'll get to see Tales of Arise at some point. Hi everyone. Uh, I just thought about that one. Yeah. Andre, creative director at Raven. Uh, Call of Duty. One of our goals as developers <laughs> is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear you around have you. can 12 year old swear at in you Black with 3D Gold, audio. It honestly United looks Kingdom. uncomfortable. In the middle of one of the most dangerous <laughs> times the world it's has like, ever It's like, please, known. there's a giant floating X behind me. Help! The, the how long do I have to stand to the, mission, in front of this green screen? <laughs> He's actually had to stand there the entire time until Sony Black finally wanted to announce the price for the PS5. <laughs> He's been there for months. Poor guy. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Farage? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. <gasps> he swore. <laughs> Priorities to ID Iraj before things go hot. So, which chapter of Black Ops this one is? I lost count. Uh. The fourth, I guess. I think there was already four, wasn't there? It's isn't that uh, oh. the fifth Cold War? It's the fifth. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's I, actually I, the I, second I because it's a direct sequel to Black Ops One. Oh, that's a good point. I just I forgot four existed to be honest. <laughs> Many did because there is no campaign. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a thing. The Call of Duty with no campaign. What were they thinking? Eh, they make the most of their money from the multiplayer anyway. At least they realize that may, may as well produce Warzone, a free-to-play game, if you want to do a multiplayer only. <laughs> oh, wow, something's gonna go wrong. Huh? Do it! With your bitch. Yeah. That's the problem with having you like being able to control stuff like that when it's super scripted. It's like you could aim perfectly at him and it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, that, that was unnecessary. <laughs> Get in. Get in. Same as this. That was brutal. Yeah. I guess they're trying to show off like everything, but it just ended up being really goofy. Yeah, I suppose so. It's like, let me just put a grenade on this guy and then like shoot. Them I mean, out it makes sense. Them. They have to show what the gameplay is capable of. Yeah. This muzzle flash is getting on my nerves. Go to the car and come in. <laughs> Mario Kart time! <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? I don't remember it being this fast than the other ones. Where's the bananas? You need the blue shell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if the jeep will have a bad time. I want to be cut that fast. <laughs> Let's go. 
Should have wore a seatbelt. You're finally awake. <laughs> Todd Howard does it again. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth. Okay, and we so can't wait for you to soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features yeah. the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha. I like how Black Ops is more known for its zombies. And for yeah, those of you again, of course. You can preload the experience. I guess there's some tomorrow. sort of figures. We can't wait to see you online Friday. Rule in Germany. Yeah, because Japan has the Why same. Why only range. Germany and Japan? Because it's, it's always Germany. We don't get the quest too, also, <laughs> from Oculus. But why? There's, there's, there's some sort of dumb people. law. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. Privacy exactly. laws. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Because you have to Japan. have a Facebook account. Okay, that's for Oculus. Never mind. <laughs> Only Germany and Japan. What? Are they yeah. strict? <laughs> it's something specific. Well, remember, remember Germany specific. Some age <laughs> restriction thing. Yeah, that's yeah. why most free betas you need um, you need a PS Plus account in Germany for. Oh. Because you have to be 18 then. Chris, what the hell? This, that's rats. We got some good old resident resident big boys. I'm probably gonna stump that a lot today. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad to see more of this anyway. Feels like we might actually get to see a bit too. And in death, we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. Maybe we will see some gameplay this time. <laughs> well, it kind of is gameplay, right? Kinda. Yeah. This better not be gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. Or is it? So I guess they want us to call it Village more than Resident Evil 8. I don't know, a bunch of people will be like... It's just like 7, it's just like... It'll just be... It'll just call the number, probably. Everyone yeah, exactly. in all Village, yeah. Actually, it's been more than halfway through already. We're still no gameplay, basically, but... <laughs> yeah. And here's Deathloop, the game that got delayed not long after it was announced. <laughs> Oh, this one looked uh, interesting. Yeah. Loop, yeah. You want out of a time it's just... You gotta learn how it works. And that's too early, I think. Black Reef is a puzzle. And each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist! I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's basically the Sonic gameplay, but in a different setting. Yeah, I suppose different characters for every setting. I've tried taking my targets out one by one, more than I can remember, but there is never enough time. I go after one, another lives, because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor's a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it in words! That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. Breakthrough. No reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. Targets on my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. <laughs> and you just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. PlayStation console exclusive this one, okay. Yeah. We'll probably say that a couple more times before this is over. But then again, then again, there's not actually that much left of this, so... <laughs> uh. That day, if our position oh shit, it is. It's done my cry, uh, Virgil Would DLC? Fates be different. Oh shit. What I have here. Finally life. happening. And you mind. You a demon. It's happening. Yeah, there it is. Yeah we go, folks. <laughs> Finally here. <laughs> Funny because Virgil was already in the game file. Well, yeah, that, that's because he was. <laughs> that's just because he was an enemy. He wasn't. He didn't really have most of his move set. Yeah, but you had some data. He wasn't yeah, fully like they, pro they probably but... tried working on him, but yeah, he wasn't in a finished state or anything. So we all thought the, the DLC is coming, but they never did. It. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guess they wait until next gen. Wait, what? Foolishness, Dante. This is looking pretty hype.
<laughs> digitally? <laughs> Why digital Capcom? Available digitally at launch. Wait, what? <laughs> Capcom's doing it again. Capcom. Devil May Cry is getting treated like Ace Attorney now. Capcom! <laughs> Why are you giving it the Ace Attorney to Soul treat? Storm. Uh, there we go, yeah. Hot world. What are they doing? Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Guama for burning down my farm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm. We're excited to bring you an all-new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious Rupture Farms. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power I'm just here for the bad ending. Enjoy. <laughs> I can't wait for them to just not reveal the price in the end. That would be so, <laughs> be so good. Oh my god, everyone like, no will be so No price, off. no date. <laughs> <laughs> like, stay tuned for more information. I'm like, fuck. Gregory. Well, at this point, they have no reason to hold it back anymore, so... Yeah. Please, come out. Gregory, I may have lost my temper. More spooks. But it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. Is this Five Nights at Freddy's it's stuff been again? It's such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It won't happen again. This. Oh Christ, it is. <laughs> it is Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes! It is fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Five Nights at Freddy's, now with graphics. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting that one. <laughs> yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's RPG 2. The RPG is the best game. <laughs> I mean, it is free. Yeah. This is what I was waiting for. Demon Souls launch title. Yeah. Yep. Where's the guy rolling around? I didn't even play it that much, but this feels nostalgic already. <laughs> it's one of the first games I got for PS3. You're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god. He did a new move. <laughs> he did a I was roll! I think I you died on that jump. <laughs> Without the HUD on screen, it looks so odd. <laughs> I'm just so used to, to the interface, I guess. <laughs> this is kind of interesting to see them just have him wander around a bit. It's like it's literally just them. <laughs> have Read the them messages, you coward. Read them. <laughs> I thought this is just this is such like an odd thing. Like it makes me wonder if they're gonna do something like weird. Like so far it's like such a like simplistic sort of thing. I guess this lets them show off the areas and whatnot. Yeah. This is just oddly uh like oddly plain? I guess that's the idea. Well, we all know what the gameplay is like, so they're basically just showing it off a bit. And yeah. showing you what things actually look a little differently, yeah. It's more than just like a visual thing. Yeah. Don't fix what isn't broken, I guess. I like how he puts his shield up as if he's not just one-shotting all these dudes in the first place. <laughs> it's like, uh... If this gameplay doesn't end with, uh, you die, I'm, just, I'm gonna be disappointed. There'll be a giant yeah. boss now. <laughs> yep. I mean, this is the, the, like, the very opening bit where you're not actually supposed to win against this thing. Yeah, exactly, this is the one. You can win if you're very careful, and but then you get in one shot anyway. <laughs> you're not supposed to win it. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. There he goes. There we go. Kill him. There we go. I'm not expecting it to be a launch title there. Be cool if it was, but. No date at all. Yeah. Feels like neither console's really gonna have much of anything at launch. Then again, I guess it was like that with the. Uh... So I guess. Probably gonna be. You can play all the games you have. I'm guessing we're going to get an actual proper reveal thing now, because it's basically over. 499 US dollars. <laughs> Fortnite, let's go! We just have to have Fortnite stuck in here, you know? Oh my god, it's actually Fortnite. <laughs> I mean, I got to the point where... I I kind of, rec even though I barely played it, I kind of recognize it the moment they show anything about it. I was like, this is actually Fortnite. This is a launch title. As soon as I saw, like, the area, it's like, yeah, this is this is Fortnite. Oh, you I've see, the available at launch, oh my god. We gotta get a PS5 right oh, now. Oh, okay, now this Collection. is more interesting. Yeah. So you get all of the PS Plus titles that have been Introducing released so far. Introducing the PlayStation Plus Collection. I'm wondering what they're doing here. Yeah. Are they gonna make? Oh, they're gonna like roll PS Now into it or something? Or is this gonna be backwards compatibility stuff? Oh shit! It totally is gonna be isn't it? For PlayStation Five. That's basically the Game Pass, probably. Well, I mean, this could be them rolling now into it, but they made it sound like it's just gonna be. 
a thing that's effect. included with it normally. Probably shouldn't run. My name is Marcus. Like stuff like Until Dawn's already been on PS Plus, so it's like, is this just gonna be them like opening up a bunch of it like permanently? Looks like I'm, I'm gonna assume that like a bunch of stuff is just gonna be like up there always if you have a PS Plus sub, rather than That's only if, if you're there for the month. I mean, they're calling it a PlayStation Plus collection, so maybe yeah. that's it. Hey, there's Persona 5, not the new one. Mm. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, even the base Persona 5 is the. Sure, Persona it's not 5 the Royal but... Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a, a good chunk of these has already been on plus anyway, so yeah. Yeah. It's looking like these will just be all available. Yeah. At launch it. Yep. Enjoy a selection of generation defense. It's not PS4 a bad games, idea, really. Or your PS5 at launch. So that you have PS4 anything to play. play. Yeah, but basically, yeah, so you have basically. to play at launch. Right. It's an ongoing subscription with a Okay, so yeah, it's a bonus for PlayStation 5 users. Since yeah. we cannot keep to the PS5 titles, we just remastered this before, <laughs> incompatible, download them, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Enjoy. <It's just> like, <laughs> what? Like, Persona 5 specifically is such an odd choice, considering Royal. <laughs> like, that's very, very weird. Maybe Atlas wants to sell Royal. And very, very Atlas. If you enjoyed yeah. the base PS5, just buy Royal. Uh, also, this is going to be the very end. Now to price. Come on. I still hate this fucking design. Why do you yeah, need to stand? To, need to stand to be able to stay up. Like, God damn it. You, that, that disc looks like a tumor. <laughs> Look at it! Yeah, the, 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 this one design looks Look so much at worse. It. <laughs> it's not too much. <laughs> but it's just like, it shouldn't need a stand to be able to be horizontal. Like, this shouldn't be a thing. Yeah. Price is gonna appear in like a second. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 4 99 Give it, baby. Yeah, it Wait. is. 4 99 and 3 99 Yeah. Uh, Hold it. November 12th. Hold it. But not in Europe. November 19th. For us. The rest of the world. All right. Yeah. So now you know. Who cares well, about Europe? Thank you all for joining <laughs> us today and for being part of this amazing journey. Well, that was kind of boring. <laughs> your plans of and now you know. To deliver a truly new generation of experiences on PS5. From everyone at PlayStation, we appreciate your continued support, and we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. That's super lame. Close, we have to wait an extra week. Let me leave you with one more quick look. You can import it and uh, wait two weeks. Yeah. Import it and pay extra and not get it. Well, it's uh, dollar price is the same as euro or a pound price, I think. Yeah. Huh? I tapped up briefly, but... I got a four. Uh. I'm guessing it's oh, gonna be like nothing. God of War 2, baby. But it already came out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be a name drop and that's it. It's even gonna have that. Yeah, that's everything we get. Well, at least we now officially know it's in the world. Ragnarok. It's coming. I'm just gonna assume it's, be, it's gonna be like God of War Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok, yeah. Yep. Yeah, no that's release date. No nothing. It just exists. Look forward to it. Get a PS5 next year. <laughs> Basically. Trust us. Yeah. It's like this and like the uh, the Xbox Series X like things. But they were both just like, eh. There wasn't a single release date either in this one, right? Yeah, some uh, holiday launches, but we already know, knew about Yeah, no, but I mean, like, nothing exactly outside of like fucking Fortnite. <laughs> 
I guess the interesting things are we know that uh, God of War 2 actually exists and they announced Final Fantasy 16 as a PlayStation console exclusive. Yeah, which is cool for PlayStation. Yeah, there's Genshin Impact, which is free to play and will be on PS4 anyway. This video will be striked, of course, for that music. <laughs> Just mute it, I guess. I have no control. I will directly export it from Twitch to YouTube. Mm. Well, that split second of Godfall gameplay looked more interesting than the stuff they showed the other time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. But yeah, hey, there's Worms. Not very interesting game. Kerbal Space Program was there, right? I think it's getting a special edition for consoles. Uh. Maybe? I, I read that following today. that other sequel. Yeah, yeah was... Spider-Man looked fun. Yeah, it looked fine. But the problem with it was it was mainly just... Like, well, it was basically an event just to reveal the prize. So, yeah, fun. pretty much. But the problem there is, it's like, this comes out in... Like... It, it's basically just like one day over two months in Europe. Like... And we barely, we don't have any like release dates for most stuff. There's not much of anything announced for it. Like we don't well, know if I Demon Souls is this year, or next year. I guess you can basically buy it for Spider Man. That's it. <laughs> yeah. They'll probably do some sort of Spider Man launch bundle anyway. Yeah, yeah. launch. I don't think so. They usually don't do bundles at launch. They prefer. I mean, you're gonna buy a PS4 five anyway, so. And you're definitely Maybe. going to have to buy a game, like... so you'll just buy both. I'm trying to remember what the... Um... I'm trying to remember if like the Mario Kart 8 bundle was there at launch or not. For the Switch. I can't remember if that was something that came no, out. No, it wasn't at launch. The Switch didn't launch with any bundles. But they didn't say pre-order now, so probably not up for pre-order Yeah, yet. we yeah. don't have a pre-order page yet. That's fine. We have and to they wait didn't another... say you can pre-order it right now at your, at your local Amazon. <laughs> so... Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna go look on Twitter and see how much complaining there is about the delay in Europe. <laughs> yeah, that's not a really weird choice. Like, why? why? What did Europe do to you? I'm gonna assume it's to do with the... Um... Like the whole, uh, like having to cut back on production and whatnot. Like they were having issues because of, you know, good old Corona. Good old COVID. But, uh, yeah. It's a bit, a bit of a shit show. Yep. Like, I'm kind of. People I... on Twitter pissed. <laughs> Most of them, like, as I'm scrolling down right now, is just... <laughs> That's right, as I say, I'm about to say that. Somebody's instantly just like, wait a fucking second, I've got to wait an extra week? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, right, as I'm about to say, I haven't seen anything yet. As I, and it's like, that's, that's like, right there. But, yeah. Well, if there aren't any games, I will, I will wait gladly more than a week to, get, to buy the console. Yeah, like... I might get it a lot at launch, but it's mainly it's mainly just because I skipped out on the pro, so it doesn't feel as bad buying it. Because I obviously I didn't pay like the two hundred and fifty plus for the pro, so it's like it's it's sort of just as seen as an upgrade to play all the PS4 games with like all the pro stuff, all, all the pro benefits. So <laughs> that's, that's probably what I'll be using it for for the first few months anyway. Is just PS4 games. Yeah, and you get Sp Spider Man and the PlayStation Plus collection, so it's probably a good basically deal, yeah. yeah. It's like at least because I was like I was already I I still haven't picked up Days Gone, so this kind of makes it worthwhile on that end. I can just play it that way instead. <laughs> then again, people are probably gonna be pissed that picked it up during all the sales recently. <laughs> it's like there you go, it's free on PS Plus, the thing you need to actually be able to do online in the first place on the console. 
Yeah, like the little showcase at the end was all right. I just find it funny that they showed uh, Genshin Impact, which is a game that's it's free to play and cross play, but cross save doesn't work on PS4. It works for the other versions, but not PS4 specifically. And it's like, uh, good job, Sony, you did it. <laughs> we're, we're we're close to getting the PS5, and this cross play still not sorted out properly between consoles anymore. Yeah. Speaking of cross play, uh, Rocket League is cross safe now from today. Yep, and. Free is it free already? No, or next week on the twenty third. Because yeah. I know that if you buy it, oh, you don't buy it. If you download it on the Epic Store, you get another voucher, like a discount voucher, similar to like the uh, the one they did in the sale the last items. time. Yeah. But you, you get a discount on yeah on the store directly for ten pound or fifteen. So it's probably just ten ten uh, euro or fifteen euro. And you also get legacy items if you yeah. played it before. But it's just a bunch of crap, actually. <laughs> I, I thought you would get every DLC. That's how I understood it. Like the Knight Rider one and Ghostbusters and so on. But I don't think... I guess it's like the non-licensed stuff. Yep. Yeah, sounds about right. And like a title. I mean, that seems to be the, the easiest thing for the companies to do, that sort of thing. Hmm. You get a title that you'll never use. But, um, yeah. Yeah, PS5 thing was eh. It existed. Very meh, yeah. Yeah, it was. It probably would have been fine if it, like, it probably would have been fine if it was just the price and that and date and that was it. And Square Enix just uploaded a trailer at some other point for 16. <laughs> Probably doesn't help that 16 had already leaked beforehand that it was going to be announced. <laughs> so it didn't even come as a surprise. <laughs> but, yeah. Looked interesting. Probably won't be out for about three uh, three years at the minimum. <laughs> there, was no, there was no release. There wasn't even like a tentative release date, like a year. It, didn't even, it wasn't even 2021. They just didn't give a single thing at all for it. Dang, and they didn't do that for Dark Souls either. And, and there also is a PlayStation uh, uh, console exclusive. It could be the next PlayStation, as you said. Yeah. Wait, did, did Miles Morales? They, they said that was that was holiday twenty twenty, right? Yeah. So it's not, yeah, that, yeah. That's not even confirmed for launch either. It was confirmed before, actually. Was it? Well, it's, yeah. it basically means it's a launch window title. Yeah, I I, I couldn't remember if it was specifically Maybe not at day confirmed one, but uh, not long after. Yeah, but I I don't remember them specifically saying day one. Yeah. So I was like, I just, well, we all was... assume day one because uh, they kept. It would have made long. sense. Yeah. <laughs> they kept saying holiday, so. Yeah. But then they they kept saying, <laughs> even now. But yeah, I'll I'll see. I'm not sure they can actually release it on November, so. Pro probably, yeah. If they can, um, it's gonna be a launch date or otherwise December. Oh, well, time to. Uh... Yeah, they actually said holiday 2020, but. A lot of outlets said it is a launch title. I don't know why. That's basically what we all assume, yeah. They're basically working to make it a launch title, but I guess they're not 100% sure. Probably. So the, the fact that it's only a couple of months away assume. and they're not sure, it's like, eh. I'm going to assume it's just not happening. Oh, hey, the uh, PS5 actually has three USB ports. Because <laughs> like, everyone was like, like, people in like the fighting game community were worried because the the uh, the front only had one USB port on it, and everyone's like, "Oh god," because <laughs> you wouldn't be able to connect two wired controllers. And it turns mm -hmm. out there's two on the back, so everything's fine. But um, yeah. I, I imagine a lot of people in Europe are not happy about the uh, the delay there. I assume so. I mean, I think a bunch. I, I think a lot of people in my timeline weren't even really that bothered about following it. <laughs> like they're just sort of like, eh. but yeah, I, th I think a lot of people are um, more interested in just waiting until next year. Yeah, like my timeline's full of PS5 talk, but not many people that are like overly hyped about it or anything. It's just sort of like, yeah, it's alright. 
where the PS3 actually took, I think, three months to come to Europe. Something awkward like that, yeah. November 2006 and then March 2007. Well, I suppose it was a different time now that everything is worldwide. Yeah. <laughs> if, they, if they tried pulling that now, COVID <laughs> is putting us back in time. die instantly. Like, even seven days is already kind of pushing it, I'd say, for a lot of people. But, um, yeah, somebody tweeting on my timeline about, like, the, um, the director for Final Fantasy 16 being, like, somebody who worked on the Romancing Saga games, the last remnant, and was part of the team that worked on Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Around Reborn. And the, the producer is the main guy on Final Fantasy XIV, Around Reborn, so it's in good hands. But we'll see because it's Square Enix. <laughs> it's like even everything could go well in that project, and Square Enix as a company could still find a way to fuck it up. <laughs> but yeah, it's so, someone on timeline is about the price is saying it's less than they expected, but it's kind of like everybody expected it just to match the Series X price, <laughs> like. There was, there was no way it was going to cost any more than the Series X. Yeah, people yeah. actually no, thought we, the Series X would be more, uh, would yeah. be costing more, I think. There were rumors that basically PS5 uh, was thinking about putting it at uh, 550, but they said, wait, what the fuck up? <laughs> Series X is uh, 500, we've got to match that. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's like, I, I don't understand being surprised about the Series X price, but. It was basically guaranteed that the PS like I can understand maybe you ex thinking it might they might have tried to undercut, but I never really expected it. But it was it was. I guaranteed think they got by surprised by the Series S. Yeah, basically. I don't think they planned for that. Yeah, they they were not ready for it, and the problem is with with that whole thing is like the Series S is not inferior. Same. Well, yeah, it's like the Series S is not the same as the um X. as the all digital edition of the PS5. Yeah. Or whatever, the, the digital editions. I keep thinking about the... Uh... It's an all digital, but an inferior version for those people who couldn't give less of a shit about... Yeah, okay, so it's so. like <laughs> Microsoft can afford to cut the price on that like way more, whereas Sony... So, Sony still cut a bit. Like, it's and still... Microsoft have put out this aggressive strategy because they thought uh, even if we sell it at a uh, low cost, then we actually... that it actually cost us, which is probably true. We're gonna get the money back thanks to Game Pass and digital sales and whatever. Yeah, so. this is probably the better strategy: releasing like a lower end version of the console at launch with the main one, rather than launching the main one and then launching a more expensive one later on. Like, yeah, that's, that's you may as well just get yeah. the more expensive thing out of the way at the start. Yeah, I agree because releasing a more powerful one later on it just pisses people off. It yeah. Works. Whereas this, it's like they both exist to start with. Ask and Nintendo and ask Sony itself. Yeah. Didn't tell that much, and, and new then, 3DS. So let's not even talk about yeah. it. So it's like basically <laughs> like they're more likely to get people to upgrade from the S to the X. People just get pissed off, and they're not pushed to buy a more superior console. They just feel cheap. Yeah. So like, but with them being both announced and revealed, like launching at the same time, like at least obviously at least with the Series X and S, it's like with the PS5, it's like. Once somebody picks up a digital edition, they they don't really have a reason to upgrade, and, and until maybe yeah. until they realize that oh hey, the games are still going to be cheaper physically. <laughs> <laughs> That's always going to be the thing, especially in like the UK and Europe. The uh, the default prices are always quite bad. Yeah, outside of like indie games and stuff, like the like for AAA titles and the like, like all the full price stuff, it's not good. Like people ridicule game here for like having like really high prices, but then uh, the prices on PSN are still the same, but in the digital, so you can't even resell it afterwards. I yeah, think that, that that's, that's yeah. But to it's... be honest, I I don't even see the risk old game that often anymore. So I don't yeah. even remember when was my last time that I bought a pre-owned game. Maybe it was Pokemon Sword. I think that was it. Which is basically a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and that was only because I didn't want to buy it brand new because I was pissed off with Game Freak for after <laughs> the end of the game. So I thought I might just well, I mean, even um, if it's ten euros cheaper, I don't give a shit. Just give me the, the uh, copy. 
during the end thing, they did they actually showed off uh, Temtem during that like the um, showcase at the end of the uh, video. <laughs> it's just like you can play Temtem on PS Five. Hey, look, uh, we also have Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah, thanks yep, for watching. Power didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope for some good launch games or anything at all. Any any launch games, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. See ya guys.